there may have been another UFO sighting in Middletown, Ohio, according to reporting by The Daily Caller. A rotating green light was seen by multiple people last week. The sheriff's office said they didn't receive any calls about the light and no one has debunked the sightings, at least not yet. Hmm. All right, Robbie. Part of a whole <laughs> chain of sightings in Ohio. I guess this is... Uh, this is the answer to my whole, why do they always show up in the desert in the middle of nowhere? I mean, Ohio is also the middle of nowhere, to be clear. Sorry, I'm from uh, Michigan. Okay, I'm Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, not only do I want to defend Ohio because my family is from there, without outing any specific member of my family, I can corroborate there is some family lore about a UFO sighting at really? a in the 1970s in a park in Cleveland. I'll mm. say no more because I don't want to. Oh, that's where I crashed anybody. in my ship when I came to uh, when I came to Earth. But look, no, I, we had that really great interview um, with a uh, Harvard scientist last week who was on a, a boat in the ocean investigating a um, interstellar object that had hit Earth that he thinks could corroborate or could be evidence of life. Uh, beyond our solar system. Specifically, he was talking about the fact that there was an, an alloy, these little spherical alloys or combinations of different kinds of metals that don't naturally occur, that they were able to recover from the ocean floor by dredging a magnetic sled along the bottom. And he was very excited about what this might mean. So whether or not it's because things fall on the ocean, which of course comprises the majority of the Earth's surface, whether it's because that people are just discounting the testimony of the good folks that live in the interior Midwestern regions of our country, or whether there are reasons specifically that a spacecraft might be attracted to desert locales or places where we're testing nuclear bombs, a la Asteroid City, which I also had the pleasure of seeing this weekend. Oh, was it good? Anderson. Like, it was beautiful. A little thin in the way mm -hmm. that Wes Anderson's tend to be, mm -hmm. movies tend to be on plot, but it was very beautiful. But so, so like, what, what do you make of this? Do you think what? That people are just seeing more sightings now because there's so much alien news afoot? Yes. In fact, I, I believe there is a like, well-documented phenomenon, like a social <laughs> contagion effect of people <laughs> claiming to see more aliens when there are alien stories in the news. I think that's been demonstrated beyond any sort of contention. But... Uh, I, I did like that guest we had on last mm -hmm. week uh, who, who was speaking um, the plausible way, if we, if we were to find evidence of life elsewhere, the plausible way it will happen, right, is to find, yes, remnants of technology, the, the way they would find ours, some other civil, mm -hmm. they'd find our satellites, mm -hmm. they'd find our like a probe. junk yeah, that got jettisoned exactly. off of a spacecraft or something. So just like that, maybe, yes, the, the, the remnant debris and it would be more likely actually to land in the ocean, and so he's trying to scoop it out. Yeah, that all that all that tracks, tracks with me. You. Some funny lights over. So Akron. this video, I mean, let's let's they do look not at track this. With me. <laughs> let's look at this this video more closely. So one individual who saw it, the the person who managed to capture the video, um, described his initial reaction as a mix of fear and fascination, exclaiming, "I instantly thought like we're under attack by aliens. It was scary." Then the lights disappeared without there being any hostile uh, action. Eyewitnesses, including Bryce Garrick, observed the enigmatic lights rotating in a clockwise motion before swiftly darting across the sky and vanishing. I will say that's exactly the look of the ship in Asteroid City, mm -hmm. this new movie that is on a lot of people's minds right now. That It was green. It was circular. It rotated. It exited stage right. It's... It's exactly as this it's movie has, has has not launched that it's just lucky to be coinciding with a with another burst of renewed public interest in alien stuff. Well, one skeptic might What's point the conspiracy out here? the conspiracy could be that there is a well documented relationship between um, uh, U.S. defense agencies and Hollywood. They 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 fund movie projects that are uh, glorifying to the U.S. military. David Sirota's written an entire book about this relationship, uh, and it. If you were going to be really conspiratorial, you could say, "Oh yeah, we, the the Defense Department, the U.S. government was planning on to, making this a whole arc to distract us uh -huh. with aliens, uh -huh. distract us from other things." Yeah, they said, "Look, Wes." We have some ideas for your next project coming out in the summer of 2023. We really think aliens are going to be big. I don't know. 
know. But oh. they and but they can't. But it's it's Gr- David Grush who spoke, who was interviewed yeah. on News Nation, and he has kicked off, I think, this renewed interest by the really strong claims he made, having saying that he has direct knowledge of he has knowledge of people who have direct knowledge of not just recovered uh, a craft, but drivers. Uh, actually intelligent yeah. life. That's not something that we had on a, another uh, kind of UFO expert who's worked with Grush in the past on the show last week or the week before saying that she couldn't, you know, testify to anything to that degree. Yes. Well, look, about this particular sighting, I think it's interesting that there hasn't been a rush for an explanation. No one's come forward and said, this was a weather balloon. This was a, a drone camera. This was something that was easily explained. Um, so I think that's giving people some cause. And the clarity of the video and the image the is kind is of inviting. Never, they that's they, they don't like to explain anything. They're, they have to be made to, and they still don't. I, we're complaining about how they won't declassify any of the COVID information. They won't, um, you know, the whistleblower says the FBI, the Hunter Biden whistleblower says the FBI already knew that the laptop was real. And yeah, but you think that, you largely think in most of those examples that they won't reveal stuff because there's a there there. Yeah. But not in the case of the UFOs? It just seems like a lot to keep quiet. <laughs> well, I don't know, for a hundred years or however long this is going on. Well, to your point, Robbie, the reported sightings happened just days before Senator Josh Hawley accused the government of covering a, up a huge number of UFOs. In an interview with our partners at News Nation, the Republican senator said he was surprised to learn about how many unidentified aerial phenomena have been discovered. He went on to say the government is good at keeping secrets when it wants something to stay hidden. Mm. Well, I guess that, that could be the case. Sometimes they're, they're good at keeping <laughs> secrets for some degree of time. Yeah. But th- th- we're talking about a cover-up that's been going on 100 years, if you believe. Look, sure. Uh, apparently- Across so many different administrations. Yeah. It, 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 yes. Is that surprising to you? I, another thing that I did this weekend was I watched the, um, I finally watched the Oliver Stone JFK yeah. movie for the first time. Look, I, th- at this point, it would not surprise, nothing is beyond the scope of what the government could be mm-hmm. failing to disclose. I'll mm-hmm. put it that way. I don't think that they're, I don't, my issue wasn't how could the government have done this? How could they have sustained this illusion for so long? The only question is, is there any evidence that supports it? Absent the idea that the government could do anything it wants to, is there actually any concrete evidence that supports the idea that these multiple sightings, particularly in Ohio, uh, are real? So I look forward to seeing what the scientific explanations are offered for this whirring green disc in the sky. This was a two-movie weekend for you. you oh, I've watched and- many more movies than that, <laughs> but I won't be disclosing. That's okay. I played, as promised, a thousand hours of Zelda, and I did Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Okay, tomorrow on Rising, we will be back with more news to share with you, and we hope you are back as well. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. And for those of you who like to listen while you're on the go, we are now available anywhere you listen to podcasts. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.